To me, the best part of traveling are the people I meet along the way. Eating amazing food and seeing landmarks is exciting, but nothing beats the thrill of forming a new connection. On today's episode, I'm taking a $30 business class train from Kuala Lumpur to Penang to share my first impressions of this charming little island. Along the way, we'll meet some new friends, eat some local food, check out a brand new hotel, and I'll share my thoughts on if I think business class is worth it. So climb aboard as our adventure starts right now. Good morning, everybody from Kuala Lumpur. In Malaysia, we have an action packed day ahead. We are taking a luxury first class business class train to the food capital of Malaysia. I'm currently here at KL Central Station. The journey is going to take us about four hours via train, but then we're going to apparently have to find a ferry and then a grab to get to our final destination. We have a few goals for today. Number one is to successfully take the train and give you all a review of what the business class here in Kuala Lumpur is like. Number two is we are going to find a ferry to take us all the way from Butterworth Station right to Penang. From there, we're gonna try to take a taxi or a grab, get ourselves to my hotel, show you guys kind of what budget hotel life is like up here in Penang. And then finally, we gotta find some food because Penang is the food capital of Malaysia. So let's not waste another single second. One level up in the left side. Okay, whoops, <laughs> thank you. Okay, so it turns out maybe I should have done some more research uh, before I came here. But that's why I'm making this video so you guys don't get confused like me. The nice lady told me we gotta go up and to the left. Okay, there we go. Yes, I, I'll get you. Right through here? Okay, thank you so much. All right, and we've been granted access. Assalamu alaikum. Validating, boom. Here we go. Okay, so I guess this must be the waiting area, perhaps. Let's see if anyone else has taken the journey to Penang. Hello, are you going to Penang? Penang, okay, thank you so much. Okay, well, those nice ladies didn't speak English, but the guy behind it, and he was doing some nodding. I was told that we were gonna get access to that thing, the Ruby Lounge. So the total cost of a business class seat from Kuala Lumpur to Penang was about 154 Malaysian ringgit, or just about $30 USD. Yes, you can take a bus to go to Penang. It's way, way less cheaper. It's like, I don't know, maybe like $5 to take the bus up to Penang. Um, but my experience with, with buses so far in Kuala Lumpur, not great. I've had a lot of friends that have come to Malaysia and the buses are frequently delayed. There's a lot of traffic jams. We've got about 30 minutes left until the train departs, but I want to go to the Ruby Lounge. I feel like I'm entitled to go to the lounge because of my ticket and I want to show you guys the lounge. Okay, after some confusion, I have been uh, granted access to the Ruby Lounge. The website where I bought the train ticket, it left a lot to be desired in terms of communication and information. But here we go, 30 minutes. We're going to make the most of the lounge as we can. Okay, now we're talking Ruby Lounge, welcome aboard a class of its own. This is what we're taking. The ETS, electric train service, business class. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good, good. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you. And then they'll call us when it's time to take the train? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, access granted. Lounge life. Let's see what we're working with here. Way more air conditioned, way more cooler than the situation was downstairs. I guess those people probably aren't taking business class, probably taking regular class, but let's see what we're working with. First step, we got to get ourselves a little beverage. It looks like we've got white coffee, Milo, or is it pronounced Milo? We don't drink that in the United States, but I know they love it all throughout South America, all throughout Asia. And then the Te Tar. Ooh, I think that one might be the winner. We've also got some filtered water. I dig that. All right, tea, Tarek uh, acquired. This is like the hottest cup of instant coffee, instant tea, excuse me, I've ever touched in my life. Oh, fingerprints burned off, men in black style. I was hoping perhaps for some sort of snack, maybe a croissant, maybe a piece of bread, but no luck. A little, the, the train lounges, a little bit different than the airport lounges. Free drinks, I can't complain. And there's my train, the 9172 Destination Butterworth. Butterworth by far sounds like the most delicious train station I've ever gone to in my life. Uh, platform 2, departure at 8.03, and it is expected. Another reason I want to take the trains is because they're pretty much always on time here in Malaysia, whereas the buses, not so much. Oh, and it looks like people are starting to move. I <laughs> didn't even have a chance to take a sip of my tea dark. It's still still so hot. Hey, bro. Yo, this train ticket. Hey, what's up, man? I watch your videos. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, brother. Oh, that. sick. What's your name? Yeah, Amir. Amir. Nice to meet you, man. How can we follow you? Uh, what's your channel? Amir Malik. Uh, Amir Malik? On YouTube. Yeah, on yeah, YouTube. Yeah. 
All right, brother, go check you out, man. Enjoy, enjoy the train ride. Dope. Wow, man, uh, I, I can't even express how happy I am that, that I get to meet people that enjoy what I do. Hello, we're going Hello. to uh, A, let's see, hold up. Let me keep uh, A12C. Dark. That way. Uh, okay, thank you. He said, yeah, business class. Okay, we're on our way. Butterworth. Boom, there we go. We're in train A. If it's business class, it makes sense that you're in the front or the back of the train. I can't tell. You're definitely not riding in the middle if you're on business. You dig? Ooh, okay. So I predicted that this train would be very, very cold and yeah, it feels super, super chilly so far. And here we go. Here's my seat. A, 12C. Looks like we're going to find a place for our bags and uh, take our seat. Well, let's give the seat a whirl. First impressions of my business class seat. A little stiff. <laughs> You've got this uh, pillow back thing here. I think we want this, do you want that more to the head? Or more down? Okay, I think it's uh, more for like back, back support. Okay, now we're getting a little comfy, a little cozier. Yeah, definitely way like bigger than an airplane seat. And obviously, I made the best decision picking the first seat because look at all that leg room I got. And well, not the most sexiest part of a train video, but we have the outlets here. So it looks like you're gonna need the adapter. The US outlets are not gonna work here. You're definitely gonna need the adapter. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, hello. Whoa, that is, that is so, so heavy. Wow, this is a heavy duty uh, screen. Really surprised by, by the weight of it and the quality. Uh, okay, KTM, here we go. Internet, yes please. Oh, this is pretty cool. The first thing to open up is YouTube. Let's see what the speeds are like. Okay, okay. Not too bad for a, for a business class train. I dig that. This is touch screen and everything's pretty responsive here. Not quite as responsive as like an iPad, but yeah, pretty, pretty high quality. And <laughs> whoa, would you look at that? You even get this guy's videos on the train. Now would probably be a good time to like and subscribe. And of course, if you don't, well, I'm inclined to believe that you're a hater. There's also this big button here. Let's see if that reclines us. Oh yeah, oh wow, okay. That really reclined a lot further back than I thought it would. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, okay, this, this is definitely nap. This is a nap viable situation. You could easily fall asleep here. I think, from what I see, the chairs behind me, they have like a little footrest that you can kind of like lay your feet up on to give you some support, but I'm fine just like this. I think easily I would choose the front seat every single time. And here we go, right on the exact dizot of 802, uh, we are taking off. So our journey began here in KL Central, da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na, riding all around this Mario Kart racetrack and taking us to Butterworth, the last stop. So you don't have to worry about missing your stop because Butterworth is the last stop. MJ, can I have a bite of that? <laughs> Just kidding. Shout out my new friend MJ. Malaysians are very, very friendly people. Sat down next to me, giving me all sorts of tips and advice. She's headed to Penang too, but for work, not for fun. But maybe we'll get together and have some food while you're there. Yeah. There we go. So there is free Wi-Fi on board, and I'm trying to do a speed test, but oof, it's leaving a lot to be desired. Uh, at the moment, I'm not sure if we're going to get those blazing fast fiber Ethernet speeds um, out here on the train, currently at 36 kilobytes per second, but. No big deal. So I believe we're getting free food that comes included with the price of the ticket, but it appears we can also order some food and oh my, <laughs> everything is sold out. Uh, maybe it's just not activated yet. I can't believe that everything would be sold out, but well, hypothetically, if you come here and everything isn't sold out, you can get the couple noodles, the 100 plus, some Milo or Milo. Uh, more cup of noodles, uh, chicken lasagna, buen goreng Singapore, and nasi hujan panas, I, excuse me, a lot of foods that I'm not familiar with and I don't know how to pronounce, but okay. They've got like, yeah, six different meals you can choose from. Assalamu alaikum. The tea, please. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Oh, lovely. And there we go, we got the sugar, we got the cream, we got the tea, and it is hot. Oh my, what is all this? Oh, okay, thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Check it out, we got Let's Muffin and Go. We got a little muffin to start the day. Blueberry muffin, okay. That is a massive, big old muffin. <laughs> my favorite. 
and then the biz. Oh wow, it even says business class on it. The business class snack box. Let's bust this open and see what kind of treasures we got inside. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> MJ is making fun of me because I'm having no. such difficulty opening no, the box. I am embarrassed that you have difficulty. Oh, you're embarrassed for me. Okay, okay. Second, secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> We're just ripping it open now. Forget it. Forget it. All right, let's see what we got in here. Okay, we got a little apple juice box. Okay, I feel like they gave me the kids' meal or something. Um, oh, okay, not a snack, but you've got the business class, like Apple AirPod. Maybe well, not AirPods, but like. They look like the Apple headphones. I was curious because I saw that the TV, I was curious because I saw that the TV screen had the headphone input in it, but I was like, where's the headphones? Do you have to bring your own? Okay, funny, not quite a snack, but I get it. And then, oh, some peanuts, something you certainly won't find uh, in the, on a United States airline for sure. A bag of this goes on a plane, some kid with an allergy, game over. Yo, that is a plump looking muffin, y'all. She looking thick, you dig? Anytime I have a blueberry muffin, I think of the movie Casino with Robert De Niro and the scene where he like scolds the people in the kitchen for not putting enough blueberries in the blueberry muffin. If you've never seen Casino, uh, check it out. Pow. Hmm. Super moist. A good amount of blueberries in there. Very, very sweet. Yeah, I dig that. An absolute gut bomb though. So many, so many calories in this thing. This thing is super, super dense. If I finish this whole thing, I'm gonna be passed out. I'm not gonna have enough energy to film the rest of the video. Okay, the screen over here is showing how fast we're actually going. Uh, 76 kilometers per hour. Uh, like I said, I'm from the States, so I don't know how to do the conversion, the metric system. But I think that means we're traveling somewhere around five to 600 miles per hour. Maybe a little faster, actually. All right, we're about an hour and a half into the journey now, and my lovely new friend here, MJ, she has been to Penang five different times. She's a Malaysian local, and so I want to know what are like the top two, or maybe the top three foods that I need to eat when I'm in Penang. Peranak cuisine, there's a definite one. Uh, Chao Kui Tiao. Ch okay, Chao Kui Tiao. Chao Kui Tiao. I cannot pronounce that for the life of me. Chao Kui Tiao, which is like a fried noodle dish, right? Yeah, yeah. And then the first one you said, like, like the panakin, that's like Peranakin. a... Peranakin. Peranakin. And that's a, like a, a mix of Chinese and, and Malaysian food, right? A mix of Chinese food, um, fusion of some Malay techniques. Ooh, with a fusion of the Malay techniques, okay. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like incredible. Love Chinese food, yeah. love Malaysian cuisine. So Peranakan cuisine. The street food would be chocolate, uh, maybe the chendol, yeah. The chendol, yeah. yeah. You saw the chendol from the Singapore video. Love chendol so much. Um, what else? Um, maybe some soup noodles. Soup noodles, okay. Yeah, yeah different different types. And and where are we gonna go to dinner? Are we gonna are we gonna go to a restaurant or are we gonna explore the street food while we're together? It depends what what, what you prefer. I want to leave it up to you. I trust the locals everywhere I go. I want to, we got to try the Peranaka. Yeah, All right, good news, everybody. About two hours into the journey, and lunch has arrived. Here we go. Um, they didn't ask me what I wanted. I, I don't. I don't think you get a choice. Thank you so much. Which is fine. Fine by me. Let's see what we got here. We got the nasi putih, ayam masak, kikap, sayur kari. Amazing, thank you so much. So MJ just gave me the breakdown of what uh, we've got here. We've got chicken in soy sauce, and then we've got the white rice, and these are like potatoes, right? Carrots. Carrots, oh, carrots, what? Okay, that looks like a carrot, but that looks like a potato. You have a potato, I don't have one. Oh, oh no, no, I do have one. Oh, potato, wow. Two carrots, yeah. If you want my carrots, I'll, I'll be happy to share. <laughs> you offered me your McDonald's, so it's only right. I'm really curious to see how this stacks up to the food that we had on the luxury bus from Singapore to Kuala Lumpur because that was like some of the best transportation food I ever had. However, what I didn't share was uh, later that night it woke up at 3 in the morning and it felt like someone actually shot me in the stomach. I think the bus shrimp uh, might have gotten the best of me. So this, this looks a little more mild here. So we've got the plain white rice, we've got a not so generous four pieces of chicken in the soy sauce. And then we've got vegetables with, uh, oh, what is that? 
I think those are maybe some like beans, long beans. Then we got the potato, and then we've got the carrot. It smells pretty good, but it also smells like airplane food. All right, let's go ahead and try the chicken in the soy sauce pal. Pleasantly surprised. The chicken was juicy, big chunks, tender, flavorful, and uh, the soy sauce, nice little salty element to it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, business class food, pretty solid. Lunch has been crushed, and according to this map here, we are either at or headed to Parade Buntar, but we're getting closer. Look how far we went, guys. Seems like a good time now to check out the bathroom situation, see what's going on. And here we go, into the tondas, the toilets. Okay, whoa, crazy, they got the window down in here? Hey, what's up, everybody? Okay, whoa. <laughs> on this train. Um, yeah, okay, well, we have the toilet, stainless steel. Uh, looks like we're gonna make a quick stop. Oh, here's the soap dispenser. Yeah, yeah, little duh, sink, toilet paper, and the bum gun. You know we gotta do it, guys. We gotta do that bum gun, bum, bum gun pressure check. Here we go, three, two, one. I need a little, I need a little more G-force. <laughs> I don't want to buy a bum gun, you dig, but I guess, I guess that'll get the job done. Okay, and then of course you got the intercom here if you, some tragedy happens and you find yourself stuck in the bathroom. I think we gotta go check on that lady, like, that was, that was not good. And here we go. Our journey, well, the part of the train journey, just about over. And here we go. We can see, uh, wow, kind of a big bridge over there. And this must be Butterworth. And then we have to find the uh, ferry, which I don't know where to find it, but luckily MJ has all the information that we need uh, to find it. Truly don't know what I have done without MJ, the best travel companion I could have asked for on this train journey. Thank you. Thank you. MJ was kind enough to wait for me. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah, I would definitely take that train again. That was like the quickest four hours of my life. Probably because the conversation with MJ made everything go so much faster, but yeah. Comfortable, decent food, good bathroom facilities, and if I would have tried to nap, I could have definitely taken a nap on that bus. How long is the ferry ride? 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Oh, super short, okay. I thought I was gonna be in for like a two hour journey on the ferry, okay. Phew. Oh, interesting, there's a sign that actually says no more cash purchase, so I guess if you wanna take the ferry, you have to use your credit card. No big deal. Just kinda surprising when the ticket cost is so low, like one ringgit, two ringgit, and they don't take cash? I get it though, we're moving towards a cashless society. Could you guys buy my ticket too? Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Always gotta have some fun with the people you meet along the way, right? Assalamu alaikum. Uh, one ferry ticket, please. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Boom. All right, ferry ticket acquired. <laughs> Glad we kind of got here when we did. That ferry line getting long. Assalamu alaikum, hello. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna scan my QR code. Boom, thank you so much. And here we go. No idea when the ferry even leaves. Oh wow, I think we're like, I think we were moving. I think it's, oh my God, they're waving at me. Ah! <laughs> Didn't expect that. Okay, we don't wanna be late. I think it's a half hour between ferries. Thank you, am I good? Okay, oh man, more people are running. I really don't wanna run, oh man. Look at this guy. Should've hopped a ride with him to get on this boat. Dang, my man is cruising. Okay, here we go. On to the ferry. Wait, where did I go? I think I'm like, <laughs> I think I walked to like the motorcycle area. Where are the pedestrians? Whoops, classic fashion. Ended up somewhere where I shouldn't be. So it looks like there's just a handful of seating um, outside and then whew, you wanna sit in that air conditioned environment. You come in here, oh, there's my friend. And yes, the ferry had a bathroom on it, but no need to check that out. 10 minute ride, we can hold it. All right, it's time to depart and find ourselves a taxi to take us to the hotel, but thank you again, MJ. Like, could not have asked for a better travel companion uh, on, this, on this train ride journey. So hopefully uh, I'll see you again, but if not, 
ciao for now. But now it's our time to go into actual Georgetown and uh, check it out, check out this hotel, find a little more food. Now as somebody who's been traveling full time for the past five years, I can tell you, hey, what's up man, hey, all right. Wow, talk about a warm welcome here in Penang, right? And I guess it's pronounced Penang, not Penang, so excuse me for mispronouncing that. I'm probably gonna mispronounce a lot of words out here in Malaysia. But, it, but as I was saying, traveling for five years, the hardest part is saying goodbye to people. Like, really liked MJ. Great, great chemistry, great conversation. You know, maybe I'll see her again tonight or in a couple days, who knows? But oftentimes you make these amazing connections with people on the road and then you never see them again. And you go, uh, you go separate ways. Fast friends, as we call them. So thankful for all the relationships and the people I get to meet. But you know, there's certain people you meet that you're like, wish I could have spent more time with them. And yeah, she was definitely one of those people. So my hotel or my hostel is only like a eight minute drive uh, from the port where we got off. But on the flip side, it's only a 16 minute walk. I'm somebody that likes to walk, you know, after, you know, sitting down on that train. Figure why not stretch these legs a little bit. Let's get a little view of the city here on foot. I'm digging it so far. It's kind of got, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Cuba. Hello. Are you making a TikTok? No, no, no. Oh, very nice. Kind of craving a cup of coffee and I guess I could go to SST Coffee Box. Not to be confused with Starbucks. I'm curious. I guess this island is like, uh, or maybe Georgetown in itself, is a UNESCO heritage site. So I feel like they're probably not allowed to put big chains in here. Someone tells me we're not gonna be seeing any actual Starbucks. We might not even be seeing any like McDonald's or fast food while we're here. Now see, it's kind of a bad idea to walk around with these two big packs because I already know I'm gonna get distracted. And here we go, this is like the first kind of temple uh, that we've seen here. Interesting, it actually looks like, man, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think it's a Hindu temple because of all the uh, the elephants and I believe those are uh, the Krishna. Hello my friend, is, is, that, is that a Hindu Hindu temple? Hindu temple, okay, namaste, thank you. Okay, there we go, it was in fact a Hindu temple. Yeah, probably if I had to do it all over again, I probably would have just taken the grab. Uh, 18 minutes with two big backpacks, man, that's a lot. Hi, how are you? Are you, stay are you staying here? No. Oh no, I'm okay. <laughs> I wanted to get her thoughts and opinions on it. Uh, but here we are at the Sleep Box by Apple One Hotel. No affiliation to the Steve Jobs iPad iMac Apple, I'm guessing. Hello, assalamu alaikum. How are you guys? Good, good. good. I'm here to check in. Yeah. Showtime, here we go. Three, zero, two. Access granted. Oh, oh my, okay. Boy, I better invite some friends. Two beds? What? I told them I was coming alone. No complaints. Can never, can never complain about more bed space. Oh, it looks like one's a queen and one is a, a single or a twin. Okay, that's what's up. Yo, party people, hit me up. Who wants to come crash at my place? This is nice. You can tell this is a brand new hotel room. Ooh, okay, it's got the slippers all ready to go. Yo, they must've put me in a family room or something because obviously for just one guy, they wouldn't give you all those slippers. We got a desk to uh, crush out all these YouTube videos at. Heck yeah, big, big fan of that. Nice mirror. Oh my gosh, they give you these little carafts to fill up with the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, hanger area to hang your clothes. Wide screen, flat screen television. Um, What is this? Please leave for the net bag for next guest to use. Shower bag for use. Okay, that's what's up. Some nice towels, embroidered towels. Yeah, these these look really, really comfy beds. And let's see what we got for a view. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Okay. Oh, dang, you got some skyscrapers in Penang. Didn't expect, and what? Look at that, across the street, BT. It was meant to be. My initials, guys. And we got some nice artwork on the walls. First order of business is cranking this air conditioning as, as high as it will go. But uh, okay, give me a few minutes to uh, freshen up. Then we're gonna hit the streets and try to find some food. Okay, I can confirm the matters as we're comfy because I just took a quick uh, 45 minute power nap. But we're here with my man. What was your name again, man? Uh, Arfad. Arfad. Yeah. Where can I go to get some street food? Street food? Yeah, how far away are we? This way, this way. So after doing a bit of research, it seems that the majority of the street food stalls are not open until at least 4 or 5 p.m., which makes sense because this, this sun is aggressive. 
people don't want to be working under the hot, hot heat cooking up food. I get it. So it's about three in the afternoon now. We're gonna try to grab a little refreshing beverage. And what do I see across the street? But I see fresh fruit juice and ice kachang and white diamond coconut. I've never seen those before. Hello, brother. How are you? How are you, brother? Uh, can I can I get a uh, coconut juice? Coconut. Coconut. Yes, please. One oh. coconut. One coconut, please. Yes. One Hello. Coconut? Yes, one coconut. Thank you. Coconut time. I've had a lot of coconuts around the world, but this is the first time I've ever been served a coconut with a spoon, so I can actually scoop out the coconut meat. That is that is incredible. Let's, let's give it a little try. The fact that it was sitting in the fridge, so it's so ice ice cold. That's that's so so good. Super sweet. Definitely what my body needed trying to survive out here. Okay. Oh, sorry. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, just by virtue of that being like the coldest coconut ever, it was one of the most delicious. Thank you, sir. How much? Seven ringgit. There we are, sir. I believe he said seven ringgit. <laughs> Let's see if I heard him correctly. Like, vibe in here. You could do like a good energy. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Much appreciated. Okay. And so that was seven ringgit. Which, let me do the math. So seven ringgit, just about one dollar and forty nine cents, which is the exact same price. I paid for a coconut uh, in the Jelana Lore food street uh, in Kuala Lumpur, so mega deals out here. So I think we're actually going to have to save the street food for a later video here in Penang. We have stumbled uh, into this kind of like open air, kind of like a hawker's market, and I only see locals eating here, which tells me that the food is probably going to be good. I see a lot of people eating this. Um... Hello, nasi goreng? Me? Miso tong. Where, where can I get that? Uh, right over there. Miso tong. Okay, what's your name? Faiza. Faiza. Brent, nice to meet you. Enjoy Ramadan. Thank you. Okay, and there we go. Miso tong. Malaysian food is very, very confusing to me, but I'm walking through and, and this, this looks so good. Like the brightest, richest red noodles I've ever seen in my life. Oh, here we go. Miso tong. All right. Sponsored by Nestle Ice Cream. And it's hot, so I could see why people need some ice cream. Hello, assalamu alaikum. How are you guys? Good, good. Uh, one, <laughs> one uh, miso tong, please. And here to do it. For here, please. Thank you. Wow. One ice cream. Oh my gosh, guys. What's that? Yes, please. Yes. Oh, this is it? Okay. Oh, all right. Thank you so much. Wow. That looks absolutely outstanding. That is like the thickest red sauce on top of there. What is going on? Now, I always preach transparency on this table. I have no idea what Misa Tong is, and I'm not about to edit the video like, oh, I know what this dish is. I've studied it all my life. No, no, no. Just like everybody else, all the other food vloggers out there, I'm hopping on Wikipedia to see what's really, really good. Misa Tong is a famous Indian Muslim dish. I'm in love already. Uh, in part of Malaysia, oh, it, it's, it's intrinsic to Penang. Oh my gosh. Okay, so mi means Chinese yellow noodles in the Malay language. You can have the mi in the garang or the rebus way. Basically, mi satong is very similar with mi garang. The difference is mi satong topped with a spoon of spicy cuttlefish. What? Spicy cuttlefish? And while I go ahead and add a citrus element to this mi satong, it might be a great time for you to hit that like and subscribe button down below. And of course, if you don't, well, I'm inclined to believe that you're a hater. I really dig how they put this plastic bag around the plates. They don't have to like wash the plates. Very, very hygienic. I dig that. Okay, we're just going in for everything here. Pow. Mmm. Mmm. WTH? What? Wow, right off the bat. Super savory. Maybe like a seven out of 10 on the spice scale. Um, but that cuttlefish, really surprising. It's, it's, a, it's a little chewy. Um, but it's overwhelming, like fish flavor here. Wow, guys, had I not looked up what the ingredients were, I would have been like very surprised at the fish flavor, the cuttlefish flavor, super, super strong. On the spice scale, it's probably like a 7.1 out of 10. Not too spicy at all, at least not too spicy for me. But the gravy, super rich, very flavorful, very savory, and heavy. Oh my gosh, if you need a plate of this, I'm taking a, a five hour nap after this. Yeah, really, really good, and would definitely get this again. Misa Tong, very impressive. Delicious, thank you so much, brother. Thank you. Six. How much? Six. Six? There we go, 20. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you, thank you, take care. Enjoy it. 
Enjoy Ramadan. Okay, what six Malaysian ringgit for that gigantic plate of food? How is the coconut more expensive than that plate of noodles and cuttlefish? Cuttlefish seems like a very expensive fish. That's insane. Mega, mega deal. Oops, I made the mistake of resting my arms on that table. I ate the miso tang and now like my forearms are covered in spicy red gravy. And that's that. I truly can't think of a better place to end the video than right here on the waterfront to uh, get our first view of the ocean uh, in a very, very long time. Really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, major shout out to MJ and everybody else that we met along the way. Again, this is just part one of well, who knows how many videos we're gonna make here in Penang. Let me know down below what else do I need to do in this amazing city. Let me know where else I need, well actually Penang is a state. Whoop, excuse me. Let me know what else I need to do in this amazing state and where else I should go in Malaysia. And again, if you could kindly hit that like and subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. I would not be making these videos. I would not be doing any of this uh, if you guys didn't enjoy it. So lots of love to you. But my name is Brent Tim from our first half day in Penang. And I'm saying ciao for now.